The fourth model available to you in Max Maps is called the Code Co-Occurrence Model. And as the name suggests, it's going to model uh, the intersections between a code and other codes. So if we click on that, we're asked once again to bring in a code. So uh, let's take overall life satisfaction and drag that in. And uh, you can choose to insert more than one code. So if you have, you could insert up to, let's just say, five codes, and it would visualize all the overlaps. Uh, but the more codes you bring in, uh, the more lines there are, and it can be somewhat confusing. So for the first example, let's just stick to a single code. So I don't want to insert more. We then have all the options for the code co-occurrence model. Uh, do we want to include intersections only for activated codes? So if we wanted to uh, limit the number of codes that could be shown, we could activate just the interview guide topics, for example. Uh, you can also choose to include subcodes at different levels and specify the minimum quantity of intersections. So uh, if maybe it's important to us to see what intersects with overall life satisfaction, but we only want to visualize it if it at least intersects twice. And we can also limit uh, which uh, intersections are counted based on weight. So we could say, I only want to count those, those instances of intersections where the coded segment has at least a weight of 90. In this case, though, we'll go ahead and allow for any weighted coded segment. So when I click on OK then, our map has been created. We have in the middle the overall code and connected to each, connected to this code, we have each code that overlaps with overall at least twice. So I'm going to drag these all to the middle so we can make it a little bit bigger. And we can drag it up. So some of these models, depending on how many results there are, will uh, format them in ways that aren't as, uh, aren't as ideal as you might have wanted. And in that case, as long as you're here in selection mode, you can move things around so that it's easier to view. So here we can see the code overall life satisfaction overlaps at least twice with each of these codes. So if we're trying to figure out what are the most important aspects of life satisfaction, we might suggest or we might hypothesize that overall life satisfaction is going to overlap with those other aspects of life satisfaction that are most important. So if we ask a question, uh, how do you feel overall about your life satisfaction? If they answer with something about work issues, we can think maybe work issues is a really important aspect of life satisfaction, of overall life satisfaction. Once again, we can see this as a starting point. So we start out with this co-occurrence model and we can bring in anything else from our project that we're interested in, such as additional coded segments. Maybe we want to bring in coded segments of work issues to give an example of things that we would have coded as having to do with work issues. We could decide to bring in only those instances of work issues that overlapped with overall. All of these things are possible. But the code co-occurrence model, again, takes one or more codes and automatically connects it to those other codes that they overlap with. Thank you.